Furthermore, let's begin with a big blow to Mayawati government as uh, Allahabad High Court uh, has set aside yet another land acquisition at the Greater Noida Industrial Authority. This is the sixth acquisition by the state government which has been quashed by the Allahabad High Court. Big trouble for Mayawati. At the same time, builders have been left in the lurch. Pranshu is joining us on the phone line for more details. Pranshu, it's uh, another big blow to Mayawati, another big acquisition quashed. Well, yes, of course, Ranjan is a major trouble for not only for the state government but also for the thousands of prospective buyers uh, of flats in particular Greater Noida area. In fact, this was High Court's verdict yesterday where it has quashed the acquisition of more than 568 hectares of land in Patwari village in Greater Noida. And, and the court clearly asked the Greater Noida authority that what was the urgency to acquire this land and if you had acquired this land in, under the urgency clauses, then on what grounds did you hand over this agricultural land to the builders for construction of apartments? So clearly the government was left with no answers and after which the court decided, it, or decided to cancel the, the, the acquisition of this land. But what's seen as the more, more, more major trouble for the government in Pipe, uh, pipe is that uh, today and tomorrow again there are at least six to seven cases which are coming up for hearing in the High Court, Allahabad High Court, where again uh, the farmers have approached the High Court demanding that the land acquisition should be nullified. So clearly if that happens, if keeping in mind the sort of uh, verdicts which are coming out in the, in the cases of land acquisition, uh, the uh, possibility is that there can be greater trouble for the state government and much more trouble uh, for many more thousands of buyers who have invested money in apartments in the Greater Noida area. Duranjan? Pranshu, stay with us. Uh, let's listen to some of those reactions that came in earlier. पतवारी ग्राम की धारा चार और छह क्वेश्चन कर दी हैं, जो सब किलो 17 के साथ इमरजेंसी लगा के एक्विजिशन किया गया था, और इंडस्ट्रियल परपज के लिए जो लैंड ली गई थी, वो बिल्डरों को जवाब अंतित कर दी, इस बिना पर मान्य उच्च न्यायालय ने पतवारी ग्राम की जमीन का अधिग्रहण रद्द कर दिया और कंप्लीट होने के बाद ये सारे लैंड डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स को अलॉट किए गए थे सड़क बनाई गई थी पार्क बनाए गए थे तो हम लोग को ऐसा कभी नहीं लग रहा था कि गवर्नमेंट की एक्विजिशन इस तरह से क्वेस्ट हो सकती है और गवर्नमेंट के पास मेजर्स हैं जो हम लोग भी बात करते हैं हमारा भी कंसर्न है क्योंकि हमारा भी तो पैसा लगा है बायर्स के अलावे हमारा इन्वेस्टमेंट हमारा हमारी क्रेडिबिलिटी सभी डेवलपर्स की क्रेडिबिलिटी एट ए स्टेक है हम लोगों को कहा गया है ऑथरिटी की ओर से आश्वासन दिया गया है कि आपके साथ साथ हम लोग भी सभी बायर्स के इंटरेस्ट को प्रोटेक्ट करेंगे यह मामला सावेरी से भी डिफरेंट है इसलिए हम लोग आगे भी क्या कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन होगा हम लोग उसको डिसाइड कर रहे हैं और आप लोगों को भी कन्वे करेंगे और प्रेस को भी कन्वे करेंगे and Pranshu is uh, still on the phone line with us. Uh, Pranshu, some more big uh, hearings expected. We're also expecting uh, more verdicts as far as land acquisition is concerned this week. Well, yes, of course, Ranjan, see, that's the situation. In fact, one particular case of a, of a, of a major land, land amounting to around four, more than 400 hectares, that is coming up for hearing in Allahabad today. And again, it's a similar case where the land of farmers were acquired during the Mayawati regime, in fact, during the years of 2008 and 2009. They were required on the, uh, emerge on the emergency clauses for industrial development, but later on were handed over to private builders for, for, for the development of those areas. So, so one case is coming today, and at least cases of six, uh, six more villages from Greater Noida, that is going to come up for hearing tomorrow. So clearly, uh, keeping in mind the sort of verdicts which have been delivered by High Court in, in, in previous five to six instances, chances are that probably the farmers at the end of the day today and tomorrow would be getting a major victory, major boost from the High Court's order. So clearly, if that happens, it would be a much more embarrassment for the state government whose entire land acquisition policy would be, uh, would be coming again under question. And also, it will be a major setback for all those prospective buyers who have invested money in various projects in, in that particular area.